For 20 years, the U.S. Afghan Women's Council has dreamed of a brighter future for Afghanistan. This spring, I was happy to present the George W. Bush Institute citation to a longstanding member of the U.S. Afghan Women's Council, the mother of Afghanistan, Dr. Sakina Yukubi. I'd like to congratulate this year's U.S. Afghan Women's Council Award recipients. I'm inspired by brave advocates like you who've been on the forefront of progress inside Afghanistan. Your work is a testament to the Council's enduring impact and importance. Our hearts are heavy for the Afghan people, especially for the women and children who've had their opportunities and freedoms denied once again. The Biden administration, the U.S. Congress, civil society, and the private sector each have a role in helping the Afghan people. The people of Afghanistan still need humanitarian aid to meet their need for food and medical supplies. Investments in programs that support Afghan women and children are critical. And here in the United States, it's important that we warmly welcome Afghan refugees into our communities. President Bush and I, along with the Bush Institute, remain committed to supporting Afghanistan, and we ask that you do the same. In their greatest time of need, let us reaffirm our promise that we'll never forget the people of Afghanistan. We will remain hopeful, and we will not look away as Afghanistan seeks peace, stability, and freedom.